Is appointment setting actually a good career? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. And we're gonna be going over some really important things. Like, first of all, what exactly is appointment setting? Second, how much can you make from it? And then the job satisfaction, the demand, and other X factors that are important. And then at the end, we're gonna be ranking it from one to 10. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it right now. All right, so first of all, what exactly is appointment setting? Well, in a lot of companies that sell what are known as higher ticket products, you're gonna have what's known as a sales team. And on the sales team, you're usually gonna have closers and setters. And setters are the people who set up the appointments for the closers. And it's important to do this to make sure that the person is qualified to actually buy the product and be successful with it, and also to save the closer a lot of time and effort. Now, there's a lot of different types of appointment setters. Some of them are gonna be basically just purely inbound appointment setters. And that's where you just respond to people who comment on social media, for instance. Some of them will set up appointments purely through the DMs. And then some of them will usually do short 15 minute meetings to make sure that the person qualifies for the product so that they can talk to the closer. Then there's other types of appointment setters that actually reach out to people as well. So you'd actually be cold calling people to set up these appointments for the closers. Or you'd be reaching out to people over DMs or emailing them. Now, this is one of those careers you hear a lot about. And the reason for that is because you don't need to get a college degree or have any previous experience to get started. And it's also a career that's going to teach you a lot of business related skills. They're going to make it easier for you to start a business in the future. So let's go ahead and talk about earning potential. So according to Glassdoor, appointment setters make about $46,000 a year. Now, like I said, there's a lot of different types of appointment setters. And depending on the industry you go into, you can make a lot more than that. For instance, one type of appointment setter is going to be what's known as a BDR or business development representative. And they typically make around $70,000 a year. And that is an entry level job. Plus, you also have opportunities to earn commissions in many cases as well. So overall, considering this is an entry level job that does not require a college degree, and you can move into other types and specialize in different types of appointment setting that pay a lot more, the salary here is pretty good. And a lot of the time people who go into sales start off appointment setting, and then later on, they move into a closer type role. So so when it comes to salary, this one is going to be relatively good. And there are many appointment setters out there that make over six figures a year. And a lot of the best jobs are going to be in either technology or selling high ticket courses or services. And by the way, I'm going to be doing a one day workshop where I reveal all my secrets of getting into these appointment setting roles. Because the truth is, this is a job that has a ton of opportunity, but it's a little bit difficult to get into. There isn't really an infrastructure in place to apply to these roles. And so you have to get a little bit creative in order to land a job. Now this workshop, is going to be exactly 72 hours after this video post. So check the description and the pinned comment below to see the exact date and time. And I tried to make this as cheap as possible so that everyone could afford it. And it is going to be a live workshop. You're going to be able to talk to me one-on-one -on -one live, ask me one-on-one -on -one questions. And I'm going to have a presentation that will show you exactly how to get into appointment setting. So if this interests you, go ahead, check it out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So next, let's talk about satisfaction. So according to pay scale, this one has a 46% meaning score. And you can compare this to a really low one like parking lot attendant and a really good one like clergy at 98%. And you'll see it's somewhere in the middle. But other than that, there's not a lot of data on satisfaction when it comes to this career. Now, I will say there are certain personality types that tend to do better in sales type jobs. It's not for everyone. Oh, man. That hurts. But with that being said, if you think only extroverts do well in sales, actually, in my experience, introverts tend to be the best salespeople. And that's because they're very good at listening. And listening is one of the key skills when it comes to leveling up in sales. But other than that, there's not that much data when it comes to job satisfaction. And I think it really just depends on your personality type, whether you're going to enjoy this career or not. I will say if you're someone who wants to start a business in the future, this would be one of the absolute best careers to get into. So when it comes to satisfaction, not much data, but this one is relatively good. Next, let's talk about demand. And this is another one where because of the fact that it's one of those careers that's kind of off the beaten path, there's not a lot of data on it. But on the ZipRecruiter job board, there is 16,000 jobs available in the United States right now for appointment setters. And if you compare that to a paleontology job, which someone would probably get if they followed their passion, 
<laughs> no, for real. Whoa. Like, it's hard to get jobs. There's only 94 jobs available in the United States. So there's definitely a lot of opportunities out there. And also keep in mind, this is known by many different names. So appointment setter isn't the only name this is known by. So overall, when it comes to the demand, this one is pretty good, although there is limited data. But I can tell you from my own personal experience, there's tons of opportunities out there for great appointment setters. Next, let's talk about X factors. So first, let's go ahead and talk about AI and whether it's going to be able to automate this job. Absolutely not. AI is not going to be able to automate appointment setting. There are types of appointment setting where AI may make the job easier or it may make you better at being an appointment setter or it might make it to where you can do your job faster or more efficiently, but it's definitely not going to take away appointment <laughs> setting jobs in the same way that it's not going to take away sales jobs. I've been using AI as much as anybody else over the last six months or so, and I can tell you for sure it will help people do just about any job out there, but there's many jobs that are never going to be able to be fully automated. They'll always have to be done by a human being. And any job that is heavy in communication where you absolutely have to have great communication in order to do that, such as appointment setter, is going to be relatively automation proof. Next, let's talk about outsourcing. And yes, there are certain components of appointment setting that can be outsourced to someone in the Philippines, for instance. But if you ask almost any of my friends that actually hire appointment setters, especially the ones that talk with people on the phone, they typically prefer to hire Americans or people from first world English speaking countries. And this is typical for sales jobs in general. So this is another one that's relatively safe when it comes to outsourcing. Now let's talk about flexibility. Ability. Appointment setting is incredibly flexible. First of all, there's tons of different types of appointment settings. So if for whatever reason you don't like the type you're in, you can switch to a different one. There's also lots of jobs that you can move into. So for instance, you can move from appointment setting to remote closing and you can make even more money. And this is one of those pipeline jobs that are going to be great for you if you want to move into higher level positions or completely change your job. And it's also really good if you want to start a business later on. It's going to teach you in-demand skills. And the skill set that you learn in general is going to be valuable just about anywhere you go in life. So when it comes to X factors, this one is absolutely amazing. And for the overall score, I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. This is truly an entry level job that an 18 year old who just graduated from high school could land without a college degree or any previous experience. And you could make it to $100,000 a year, realistically speaking, within one to two years. There's not that many jobs out there where you can do this. And on top of that, the skills you learn are going to be incredibly valuable, and they're going to translate to a bunch of different careers out there. Now, like I said before, there's a lot of different types of appointment setting, and there's a lot of a nuance that goes on when it comes to choosing the right type of appointment setting. And that's why I'm going to be doing the workshop three days after this video posts exactly. It's going to be 72 hours exactly after this video posts. And so you definitely do not want to miss that. And I will put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I hope to see you there because I'll be talking to people live and it would be nice to meet you. Oh, and I also want to say if you miss it for whatever reason, whether you know you buy it, and then you know, you're not able to show up because you have to go to work or you're just busy that night, I will be sending you the recordings. And if you see this like three weeks after it's posted, obviously I've already done the workshop, but if you sign up, I will still send you the recordings. So you can still get the recordings if you sign up. And if you haven't seen it already, I actually made a video on the 21 highest paying work from home jobs. And you can check that out by clicking right here.